Well, hi everyone. This is Van Graph Designs, and today I have a very, very nice skin tutorial that I really doubt is out there yet. And I'm going to show it to you guys. But before I get to that, I have <clears throat> excuse me. I have a very, very quick update. So this is a new YouTube channel. I've had previous ones before, but. Now I'm just ready to show everyone what I can do, my my skills on GIMP and everything. If you guys knew me before, I used to have a channel called youtube.com slash dubsteparts. You can check it out and you can see how skilled I am at it. I am very advanced in GIMP, you could say. Now I'm not saying that to rub it in, but I, I really am. And... If anyone out there has any request, please tell me in the comments, message me, or in my channel, and let me know what you want to see. Also, I do make background requests, logo requests, and even um, wallpaper requests. And if you want to see my work, I don't have a lot right now, but I will soon. I can make YouTube backgrounds, and I can make vector art which is basically this and all of my work is done in GIMP no Photoshop at all so yeah um, my deviant art is fengravdesign.deviantart.com I will have my link in the description and you can check out my work so let's get started with the tutorial I'm gonna open up GIMP and have file new and I'm just gonna leave the basic template and click OK I'm going to grab some text. Now with the text, it, it really doesn't matter which one you use. So, the one I'm using, in case anyone wants to know, it's Bank Gothic. I'm going to go over here to the Layer, Channels, and Pass box. And this little page thing icon, you click on it. And you click OK. What this does over here is make a new layer. And now we're just going to make a text box. So I'm going to type tutorial. I'm going to close that. And you make the size whatever you want. Um, it really doesn't matter. I'm just trying to get the, the basic of showing you guys how to do nice glossy text. So what we're going to do now is we're going to go layer auto crop layer now this is something I always do you don't always have to and then we're gonna go over here to this button it's called the alignment tool in your toolbox you click on that then you click on the text layer and then you're gonna click this button which will drag it to the middle and then this one which will drag it from exactly on the middle from top to bottom left to right I just usually like this because I like to have my text centered and so now we're going to go back to the Layers Channels box. We're going to right click on the Tutorial layer. I'm going to click Alpha to Selection. And we're going to pick a fairly gray color. Um, very light one. The code is A9A9A9 in case anyone wants to use the exact color. I'm going to grab the Paint Bucket tool. Make sure it's on fill whole selection over here. And then you just click on the text. Now what you're going to do is click a new layer. Put OK. Then you're going to go over here to the rectangle selection tool. And you have to make sure, I, I can't stress this enough, that you, you have to have it on this button right here. It's called intersect with current selection. It has to be on this one or else it'll kind of mess up a bit. And you're going to select the whole bottom half of the text. Now you can see it's only selected that part. So now we're going to go back and we're going to click on the gradient tool. I'm going to have black as my foreground color. And then on the gradient, I'm going to have FG to transparent. Now all I'm going to do is drag down like so and then I'm gonna go to select none 
Now you can kind of start seeing the little glossiness of it right now, but I'm going to tone the opacity down just because I feel like it's a little too strong. So I'm leaving it at a... <clears throat> Um, you play around with it, see what you like. I'm going to leave it at 48.5. So now what we're going to do next, you're going to click back on the tutorial layer. Oh, sorry about that, the text layer. It depends what you have written on there. Click on your text layer again. Go to Filters, Light and Shadow, Drop Shadow. And you're going to want offset X0, offset Y0, blur radius at 15, the opacity at 100, and always uncheck allow resizing. And then click OK. Now it looks a little funky right now, so I'm going to go back to drop shadow. And I'm going to duplicate the layer. And duplicate the layer one more time. Now you can always mess around with this if this is not to your liking. Then I'm going to make the gloss a little more and yeah, I think I'm okay with that. And so I think that's it. This is a very quick tutorial just to show you guys the introduction to my channel and everything. And so please, yeah, I'd really love it if you guys request tutorials and I will get right on it. And yeah, so... Hopefully this tutorial was easy to follow along to also. I, don't, I didn't want to make it too hard on people. And I think that's it. Well, thanks for watching this tutorial. It really did. And if it really helped you out, please give it a like. And I'll see you guys later. Thanks. This is Sven Grab Designs. I'm Sandra. Have a great day.